Welcome to On The Beat, everyone. I'm Troy Thompson. Joining me today is Dr. Ricky Johnston and nurse practitioner Valerie Brown, and of course, they're from Gastroenterology Associates of Columbus. Welcome to the show, both of you. Thank nice you. Nice to meet you, Valerie. Nice to meet you. I want to get into a conversation with you in just a moment, but I want to ask you, why is it so important, doctor, that your nurse practitioners are part of your everyday service and role within the clinic? Well, they really allow us to provide care to a wide range of the population that we see and, and quite frankly if we didn't have them we'd be a lot more limited in what we are able to do both in the time we spend with our patients the number of patients that we see and the, and the procedures that we perform so we use them generally speaking they see our follow-up patients so if somebody is new to our practice the do they're going to see a doctor to begin with and so we'll see them we'll set up a treatment plan maybe perform a procedure and then when those patients return for follow-up ongoing care most of the time they're going to be slotted with one of our nurse practitioners to kind of follow up how they're doing make any treatment uh, changes in treatment and or medications maybe order additional scans or okay. procedures i want to ask you what made you become a nurse practitioner well, um, it was something that I knew I wanted to do at a very young age. I, I yeah. knew that I wanted to go into medicine and I knew that I didn't want to stop at bedside nursing. And so um, I've just always enjoyed taking care of people. I've always enjoyed the science behind medicine. And um, so it just made sense for me to advance until I reached this point. How important is it for you? You've been there how long now? Nine years. Nine years. Now, are there different levels of nurse practitioner roles that you do? And you've just recently changed part of your role, correct? Correct. Um, there are not, I guess, different levels. Um, generally speaking, you know, once you're a nurse practitioner, you're a nurse practitioner, but you can subspecialize, which is what I have done with NGI. Um, and so I think to answer your question, I most nurse practitioners are going to have generally the same education and whatever piques their interest is what they kind of follow through with and that was the case with GI with me. Well I want to explain to everyone at home yeah. what is GI to begin with doctor? Gastroenterology, it's just an abbreviation for or how we say gastroenterology for short. So okay. GI, gastrointestinal. So what's your favorite part about being a nurse practitioner? I really enjoy in, interacting with my patients. You know, it is just a very um, special thing to be able to have that bond with our patients and to be able to help improve their quality of life and their overall health. Um, so I, I, my favorite part is interacting with my patients. I think it's great. Why do you feel it's such an important role? Could you operate your clinic without a nurse practitioner? We could, but it'd be a lot harder. Uh, right. And my, my quality of life and personal time would be much <laughs> You wouldn't much, have one. Much, exactly. You'd be at the clinic 24-7. And not only that, I mean, we're able to spend time with our patients. I think if people who come to our office will find that they're going to spend a lot more time with us and yeah. with them than they do in a lot of other clinics that they go to because we're not you know our volume we're able to keep it a manageable level and you know we've had nurse practitioners dating back to before I came here 12 years ago and so they've been a part of our practice for a long time and we've gradually expanded both the number of them and their roles and most recently with Valerie we've had her take on some additional uh, training and focus of her practice and so you know, we see lots of different GI diseases but in particular she's taken interest in liver disease or hepatology and inflammatory bowel disease which is ulcerative colitis and Crohn's oh, wow. disease. So uh, where do you, how are you doing those courses? Are they in-house? Do you have to go somewhere? Um, well, generally they're self-directed. So really? you'd I seek out what topics I feel like I need more education on and I, I do um, just self-guided education on those well, things. Well, that's what I want to ask you because nurses get a bad rap don't they? Maybe. They really are unappreciated in the world, if you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying, in what people feel. They, I only want to see the doctor. Yeah. I don't need to see the nurse. Because nurses, people assume, are just bedside nursing. Correct. They don't realise that you can develop more and more skills. Why is that important for you? Well, I think it, it allows me to be able to provide a more tailored yeah. care plan to my patients, um, you know, disease-specific care plan. Um, and so that that's really the biggest help. Well, we appreciate you. Thank you. And I know the doctors <laughs> do, too. Thank you. Thank For you sure. so much. If you want to find out more information there, it all is up on the screen, everyone. Dr. Ricky Johnston and nurse practitioner Valerie Brown from Gastroenterology Associates of Columbus. Back after this short break.